Hi, my name is Jonathan, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the face and picture template for creating face lenses. The face and picture template allows you to fill a hole of a 2D image with a user's face. Additionally, it shows you how to overlay facial features like the user's eyes and mouth over an imported 2D image. Let's get started. First, open Lens Studio and open the face and picture template. Next, let's delete the object labeled Remove Me. Note that this blizzard particle that the template includes come directly from our particle template. Since we want to import a new image, we can go into our billboard edit me object and clear the image in the texture field. Now let's import our own custom 2D artwork into the template by dragging and dropping the image into the resources panel. Then we'll add this image to the scene. Select the object name billboard edit me in the objects panel and assign your texture to the texture field of the sprite component. Notice that we have a hole in our image where we want the user's face. We can position our face sprite to fit within our hole by selecting First Face, Face Edit Me, and activating the Move tool using the W button on the keyboard. Then we can move the sprite by moving the arrows in the Scene panel. We can do similarly with the Scale tool by pressing the R key on the keyboard. Let's also add a background image behind our image that will fill this hole when the face is not visible. To see this, in your preview panel, switch to the rear camera. Notice that we see the world behind our image. To fix this, we can add another billboard by pressing Add New Billboards in the Object panel. Then we can drag another image to its texture field to fill in the hole. Finally, let's drag it above our first face object so that it appears behind our main image. This template also provides examples on overlaying specific facial features on top of your image. You can move these parts the same way you move and scale the first face object. Note that these sprites are on top of the billboard object. This way, they appear on top, and we don't need to cut out a hole in the image. You can also add additional face sprites to our lens. Let's add a nose to our penguin. To do this, right-click an existing face inset and press Duplicate. In the Inspector panel, you can choose which region of the face you want to display. Let's choose Nose. Then, we can position and scale it as we did before. Finally, we'll need to hook it up to our face inset controller. In this case, I want to display our second face. So let's add it to the script inside the second face object. In the inspector panel, under face inset, press add value, then select your new object. The face inset controller script under the first face and second face object takes in a list of face sprite and sets it to display either the first or second face in the screen. If a second face is missing, you can have it fall back to the first face by ticking the checkbox. You can learn more about the face inset controller script in the template guide on the documentation website. With our image and face sprite added, we're ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. The face and sprite template allows you to add a personal touch to any 2D image by allowing you to add the user's face in it. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own face lenses using the face and sprite template.